a few users on the new tech forums were talking about uh, setting up an animation of a flag blowing in the wind and I thought we could uh, take a, a quick look at setting up something like that so I'm gonna come over to the create tab go over to box draw it a flat plane and with the arrow keys I'm gonna give it some segments something like that okay I'm gonna hit tab just to take advantage of uh, subdivisional surfaces uh, Q for change surface and I'm gonna call this flag give it a color okay have smoothing on and the other thing I'm gonna do is make it double-sided so I'm gonna go over to the surface editor flag come over to the basic tab and choose double-sided so that we can see it on both sides okay so the only other thing that I'm gonna do is um, go ahead and fix a few points so that it can be locked to a flagpole or whatever you want to connect the flag to. So I'm going to grab these three points and these three points. You can, you could fix it all along the edge here, but I'm just going to grab uh, some up on top and some on bottom. Come over to S for selection set, new, fix. Fix is just the name I like to use because if I know I'm going to use those points to fix, then I might as well uh, call it fix and I'll, I won't have any confusion over in layout. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create that. Now we just need to save. And we'll call this flag 001. Save. Let's shoot that over to layout. And now I've got my flag set up in layout. I'm just going to take this light here, rotate a little bit, and move it out of the way. OK. So let's go ahead and give uh, the flag uh, cloth dynamics. So I'm going to select it, P for properties, dynamics, cloth, double click. Let's fix those points. So we'll use the fix point set. Come over to collision. Even though we don't need collision set right now, actually we'll, we won't set it now, but we might come back and use it later. We'll come over to uh, gravity. We'll give it a little bit of gravity and we'll come over to uh, preset and again the presets we're just going to choose one of them I'll just use thick it throws a few numbers in here that we can have as a starting point I'm gonna hit calculate and gravity starts pulling it down uh, but it's not going to pull the points that are fixed I'm gonna go ahead and hit um, control to stop the calculation because we wanted it to be flowing in the wind and so let's go ahead and, and do that I'll close this window Go over to the Items tab, and under uh, Add Dynamic Object, I'm going to choose Wind. Okay, and we're just going to call this Wind Main Wind. Okay, we'll pick a direction, and we'll come over to Vector, and instead of in the Y, let's do it in the X, and I'm just going to say uh, five meters, and we can see what happens when we do this come over to modify tab and under IKB calculate I'm gonna hit there okay I can see that it's not enough force uh, the wind so I'm gonna hit control to stop the calculation come back over to mode and under power I'm just gonna throw a number in there and we'll see what happens I'll do a thousand okay might be a, a little too intense but we'll see okay well it's still not really enough I mean it you can see that it starts to pull it a little bit but I'm gonna hit control to stop the calculation and I'm just going to type in 10,000. Calculate. Uh, that's a, <laughs> a lot of force. But our item must be really heavy, and, and we'll go check that out. Uh, and oh, also, I can see that I've got a linear fall off. And actually, I'm going to tone down my power to 5,000. And it's still, that might still be too intense. But my fall off, I'm just going to say. I'm turning it off. I don't want any fall off. The whole the whole world is going to be affected by this. Okay, calculate. Okay, there we go. That's what I was missing. I had uh, I had fall off, so it was where the wind emitter was, and this is a little intense. I'm gonna change it to a thousand. Okay, and we'll use a thousand. We can always tone that down, uh, but I'm also gonna go back and change some settings on the the cloth so close this P for properties I'm gonna move it over here zoom out a little bit I just want to be able to see what's going on here so come over to the flag and 
I'm going to increase the spring and hit calculate. This is looking better. Okay, so the, the wind is, is blowing in, in one direction, but if I want to dress that up a little bit, uh, by increasing the spring, I, I actually lowered the amount of springiness. Um, so this is looking a little bit better to me. And see, we have it fixed here, so I'm, I'm liking the way that's looking. So I'm going to hit Control. If I want to speed up my calculation, I'm going to go over to the Geometry tab, and for the flag, set the subdivision order to last. And now, whenever I go and calculate, the calculation's much faster. Again, because it's less points. When you have the subdivision set to first, it's going to freeze the object to a lot of points, uh, where when you have it set to last, it just uses the points on the object, and then it'll end up freezing it after the dynamic calculation. So that's much faster. Okay, so now that I have that, I, I want to add a little bit of turbulence. Uh, there's a few ways to go about doing it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Items tab, and I'm going to add another wind emitter. Okay, and I'm going to call this... Um, Turb wind for turbulence wind. Okay, and let's change the wind mode from direction. I'm going to change it to turbulence. Fall off. I'm going to set that to off, and let's just do a thousand power for that as well. Under vector, we can go in and change um, uh, some of our our directions on our our vector. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just try a few settings uh, for X, Y, and Z. Uh, and let's do a calculation and see what this is looking like. Okay, so now instead of the wind just blowing in one direction, I've got it kind of mixing up a bit here. Okay, maybe a, a bit too much, so I'm going to tone that down and do a calculation. And now that I have my flag blowing in the wind, the one last thing that I want to show, and you can have as many different wind emitters as you want. You can dress this up however you want, but sometimes I like to cheat uh, because I remember everything I'm doing in 3D is cheating anyway, so I'm okay with cheating. Um, if you're getting a nice, uh, a nice effect of uh, flag blowing in the wind, let's just increase this to 120 frames, and I'm going to calculate. Okay, and, and I go, yeah, that looks good, but I want a sudden burst of wind to come in uh, like a pocket of air to hit this flag. Now, I could add another wind emitter, and I could set a, an envelope and, and have it happen at a certain amount of time. Uh, but what I'm going to do is cheat and come over to Add Dynamic Object Collision. We'll use uh, a collision object. I'm going to size it up a bit. Okay. And just rotate it rotate my viewport a little bit. Come over to the, um, the the flag, P for properties, cloth effects, collision. I'm going to turn that on. Okay, And uh, then I'm going to come back over to my collision object and on frame 0 I'm going to move it, say over to here. Let the flag blow for a little bit. So come frame 60. Uh, I'm going to set a keyframe on frame 70, I'm going to have it brush up against the flag a little bit and then come away. So just a little little brush up against on there. Okay, and Let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to come over to Modify, IKB Calculate. Okay, now I'm going to lower it some just so we can get a cooler effect on that. Now, no one has to know, unless you tell them, that you used a collision object to get that little sudden burst of wind that knocks up against the flag. So, now that I have some wind blowing it, and that'll just continue to blow it forever, I can have as many collision objects kind of just brush up against it to get the exact look I want. I mean, I, I'm painting with, uh, with wind here using the different wind emitters and 
the collision object and use as many collision objects as you want to get the look you want and don't limit yourself to trying to set in the perfect amount or the you know the perfect settings for wind and the perfect settings for um, you know a certain number of the perfect number of wind emitters uh, to get a certain look at, at the end of the day no one's going to see the wind emitter no one's going to see the collision object they're just going to see the flag going and this will give you full control over making your flag blow in the blow in the wind